flying back. Hi, I'm Andrea Pearson. Um, I'm one of the academic advisors here that works with football. Um, I'm going to give you a tour of our Lowo Center for Student Athlete Success today. Elijah Lilly is going to help us on this tour today. Um, he spends a lot of time up here in study hall. Um, he is working on his special education major. This is Eden Mahina's office. Eden is one of our new advisors that works with football and he was actually a former offensive lineman here. My name is Eden Mahina. Uh, I am a student success manager over here at UNM. Um, I work with men's football and also women's swimming and dive. So I graduated in the spring of 16. Um, my last year playing was in 2015. Um, so yeah, not too long ago. I mean, it seems like it was just a short amount of time, but you know, uh, it's been a while since I put on some pads, but it feels good to be back, definitely. The biggest thing was that I wanted to work in athletics. Uh, I got my master's degree in sports administration and then I knew I wanted to start something in, in athletics and uh, I saw that there was an opportunity for me here to come back and, and you, know, con you know contact some of the people that I, I met while I was here and, and have some of those networking opportunities and um, you know I just thought it was a great opportunity so I couldn't pass up on it. We like to make sure that our students um, have some food for them while they're here studying because it can be tiring going from practice and then coming over here and making them go to tutoring, get study hall hours in. So they have protein shakes, bagels, granola bars, fruit, all that kind of fun stuff for them. It's Irvin. Um, <laughs> he just accomplished a great feat in coming to uh, elect. Matt, it's Matt K. You dig what I'm saying? Oh he got elected to be the uh, senator mm -hmm. from the school. So you feel me? He out here doing yeah. good, positive yeah. stuff. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. Athletes. Doing future politicians. Student athletes. <laughs> Here's Devin Sanders getting some study hall hours in. <laughs> so all these rooms down this hall are what we use for tutoring. Um, we have one of our tutors in here, Madison. She works with a lot of our students. She's a math tutor. So um, any students that need any extra help in stats or calc or anything like that, um, we have tutors here that can help them. So this is rare, it's, there's nobody in here right now, um, but this is more study hall space that we have. So um, these computers are open for students to come in, um, use them anytime during the day. They also get free printing over here too. So um, it's super nice for them to stop in in between classes, print a paper they need for class, and then get on the shuttle and head over to campus. Hi, what are you doing? <laughs> Giving a tour of the center. Our favorite place to be. You guys Great. need to come over here, we always have fun. Yes, we do. So here in our lobby, uh, we like to put on display some of the accomplishments that our student athletes have made. Um, so the first one is our Mountain West Scholar Athletes. That's any student with a 3.5 or better. Um, the second one is our all academic team. So that's the student on each sport um, that has the highest GPA. And then the last one is the 4.0 club, which is pretty cool. We have a lot of student athletes that have a 4.0 or better. So um, we like to make sure that we're, they're put on display and we're celebrating their accomplishments. Um, and then we also just have some open space around here. Um, students can come in, hang out, grab a chair, um, get a snack, and start working away on their laptops. Um, and then we also have a lot of cubicle space over there where they can work on group projects or um, have tutoring sessions in there as well. So we also have a station today. Um, one of our advisors' daughter is in the hospital, so um, we're putting having all our students make some get well soon cards for her to um, send to her while she's in the hospital and kind of make her day. She's a big Wonder Woman fan, so we're making sure the superheroes things. Visit is the same day. Stats are from two to three fifteen. Oh, it's at five thirty, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So I'm Done. Save. <laughs> I spend most of my time just working with students either in one-on-one -on -one or small group uh, sessions to help them understand the material deeply or if they've missed class to help them make up for material that they didn't get to see while they were traveling. Their students don't have you know what basically amounts to a full-time job or more you know in, in doing their sport. So we usually have, uh, you, you know, some way to well, kind of even that out a little bit. Yeah, hers. She's talking about profit margin. What's the 
they plan on doing it in two years. But, uh, All right, and you mine, it's not a non-profit, but it's not like not revenue based. Like I'm not trying to get rich off of. You know what I'm saying? All right. Trent Sellers, I play football here at the University of New Mexico. Now I'm working on a business plan for my new venture strategies class. It's the final for the class, so it's pretty lengthy. But I'm trying to get a good portion of it done today, so I can have it knocked out. Um, they help us with everything from scheduling our classes to tutoring to like the stuff y'all saw earlier when Andrew was helping us, you know, revise a paper or email a teacher, you know, helping us with stuff like that. It's always helpful to have somebody that's uh, gone through it and knows how to be successful. So that helps a lot. Speaking for me personally, I know that uh, I've been to a couple schools being that I transferred and we have some of the better advisors here that I've had, um, but from when I started as a freshman till now, my advisors have helped me a lot because, you know, they know how to deal with certain teachers at the university you may not know, or they can help you when you get tired and motivational and stuff like that, so very helpful. So basically we're here to make sure that they're staying on track with their goals and what they want to accomplish while they're here. Um, so our day-to-day -day looks like meeting with students to go over grades, kind of see how they're doing in their classes, um, see if we need to get, hey, um, any extra like tutoring, anything like that that we can support them with. Um, sometimes it's like what you've seen here where it's really sitting down with them and helping them with individual assignments and um, talking through things like Trent is trying to do right now. Um, sometimes it's bigger picture planning, so figuring out ways to get them opportunities outside of football, outside of what their sport is and try and help them pursue those things. We kind of set a goal for this year um, to win the most improved um, award, so it's based off of GPA. So um, we were comparing fall 2017 and spring 2017 to um, spring 2018 and fall 2018. So um, football had the most improved GPA. Um, the previous year their GPA was a 266 compared with a 284 so um, it was quite a jump. So there's over a hundred students that are calculated into that GPA so in order to make that big of a jump um, like everybody really has to do their part and improve. I see right now um, how many people I just here in the office today and um, okay come back. <laughs> um, they're always up here and they're working. I think when I first got here and the fall of 17. Um, it was like pulling teeth getting students to come to study hall and really want to be here and now it's like I have to kick them out of my office sometimes so um, you can definitely see the differences that even though the numbers may not say a whole lot just being here and seeing how much they really value it is really awesome.